In this video we want to speak about all kind welding process that works in roll forming machine. Such as, GT or W welding, TIG welding, Argon welding, HF welding, HFI welding. Welded profile applications have been steadily increasing over the last 10 to 15 years, driven mainly by the automotive industry. As they look for ways to increase strength and reduce weight, automobile engineers continually research materials and forming processes to find the best combinations of part design, weight, and strength. To get a piece of this growing pie, roll formers need to consider manufacturability and reliability. Although many welding technologies have been used on tube and pipe mills, three have come to the forefront. One. Tungsten Inert Gas TIG, formally identified by the American Welding Society as Gas Tungsten Arc Welding GTRW. 2. Laser Beam Welding LBW. 3. High Frequency Induction PHI, formerly known as Induction Resistance Seam Welding. These technologies can be divided into two groups, Fusion Welding and Forge Welding. GTRW and laser are fusion welding technologies, relying mainly on heat to fuse the material. HFI is a forge welding technology, which uses a combination of heat and pressure. Fusion welding. Fusion welding is a generic term for welding processes that rely on melting to join materials of similar compositions and melting points. For roll forming applications, a filler metal typically is not used. GTRW generates an electric arc between a non-consumable tungsten electrode and the workpiece to produce the weld. The weld area is protected from atmospheric contamination by a shielding gas, either a single gas or a mixture of gases. GTRW sometimes is called a collapse melting method, which implies that the weld puddle collapses back on itself as it solidifies. Because of this, the effect of gravity is a concern for two reasons. First, the weld seam must be in the 12 o'clock position. Second, if the puddle becomes too hot, it will drop and the weld joint will be defective. When choosing a power source, it is important to look for specific features, primarily the rated output power, which is the main factor that determines how fast it can weld. This is important because the production speed of the mill usually is limited by the GTW speed. Unfortunately, many power supplies are advertised with power output ratings at only a 60% duty cycle. This means they can overheat if operated at full power for more than 60% of the time. For a continuous application like roll forming, it's important to know the power output at a 100% duty cycle.
Laser Basics Laser Beam Welding LBW provides a concentrated heat source, allowing for narrow, deep welds and relatively high welding rates. Like GT or W, LBW is a fusion process. However, the similarity ends here. In laser welding, the two main processes are heat conduction welding and deep penetration welding, also known as keyhole welding. In heat conduction welding, the materials to be joined are melted by absorption of the laser beam at the material surface, the solidified melt joins the materials. Welding penetration depths in this context typically are below 2 mm. The three main components in a laser system are the beam generator, the beam delivery system, and the focusing optics. The most common types of beam generators today are CO2, ND, Forge welding. Forge welding uses heat in a hammering or pressing process to make the joint. Although it is not necessary to actually melt the metal being joined, it is necessary to have sufficient forging squeeze pressure. HFI welding uses the same principles as induction heating. It is the process of heating an electrically conducting object, usually a metal, by electromagnetic induction. Where eddy currents are generated within the metal an electrical resistance to this current flow leads to heating of the metal. The HFI process depends on two phenomena associated with high frequency current, skin effect and proximity effect. One of the downsides is that heat develops anywhere current flows, and current flows anywhere the electromagnetic field reaches the metal. It's necessary to block the current that reaches the ID of the profile. This is accomplished by placing a ferrite core, or impeder, on the inside of the profile. Focusing the current where it is needed is a necessary step for utilizing the other phenomenon, the proximity effect. This is the tendency for the induced currents to concentrate where two conductors are closest to each other. Method Comparisons Regardless of the welding method, some consideration must be given to cooling the weld seam. If the part leaves the mill before the weld seam has cooled, it probably will bow and twist as it cools. In most cases, a water quench station using the mill coolant is sufficient. Some materials require a soak time or an air cooling time, or both, before the water quench. In addition, some materials may require that the entire welding and cooling occur within the protective gas atmosphere. The decision to use GTAW is driven by a few key points. First, the weld seam must be continuous and at the 12 o'clock orientation. If the limited speed capability is acceptable and equipment cost is a concern, then GTAW is generally the right choice. It is important to note that a GTAW mill can be upgraded to LBW without too much trouble. GTRW can be considered an intermediate step before transitioning to LBW. It's also possible to set up the mill so that it can be changed back and forth between GTRW and LBW. LBW is the preferred method in situations where a continuous seam is not possible, where the seam is not oriented at 12 o'clock, or the joint required is not a butt joint. LBW is also useful in situations where GTAW speeds are too slow. LBW is clearly the most versatile method. HFI welding's biggest advantage is speed. If a continuous seam is possible and no other factors limit the welding speed, then generally HFI is the right choice, especially if the application calls for high volume production.
Lotos produce the best roll forming machine with the welding process. For getting more information please contact us.